In the wild rush to replace steam in the 1960s, British Rail tried just about everything. Among the strangest and most short-lived was the Class 17, better known by its nickname, the Clayton. Conceived in the late 1950s as a solution to a very real problem, poor visibility from the cabs of early diesel designs, the Clayton was meant to be a game-changer. With its low central bonnet and cab at either end, drivers finally had a clear line of sight. On paper, it made perfect sense. But under the hood? It was a different story. Powered by twin Paxman 6ZHXL engines, the Class 17 was supposed to deliver 900 horsepower. But these lightweight, high-revving engines, borrowed from naval generators, were poorly suited for the rigours of rail work. They were underpowered, unreliable, and prone to failure. By 1962, 117 units were delivered, scattered across freight and light passenger duties on the eastern, Scottish, and Midland regions. But they never found a true home. They were too weak for serious freight, too unreliable for consistent service, and too high maintenance to justify long-term use. Worse still, their timing was terrible. The standardisation movement was in full swing, and the Class 17 didn't fit in. Within just five years of entering service, withdrawals had already begun. By 1971, they were all gone. Loved? Not really. Even railway men were sceptical. Many viewed them as a frustrating experiment, a loco that promised the future but delivered failure. Today, only one survivor remains. D. 8568, saved by the Diesel Traction Group and preserved at the Chinor and Prince's Risborough Railway. Painstakingly restored, it now serves as a rolling reminder of the bold, and sometimes baffling, choices made during Britain's dieselisation era. So why was the Class 17 so useless? It was a classic case of good intentions, poor execution. Designed to solve one problem, cab visibility, but crippled by mechanical fragility and a lack of clear role, the Clayton ended up being a diesel that nobody really wanted. But in its failure lies its fascination. It tells the story of a time when British Rail was experimenting fast, learning hard lessons, and sometimes getting it spectacularly wrong. If you're into strange locomotives, short-lived classes, or unsung railway oddballs, make sure to like, subscribe, and share for more tales from the rails. What do you think? Genius idea or glorious flop? Let us know in the comments.